This is a strawberry. Cut it in half and you have half a strawberry. Break it down into smaller and smaller pieces and eventually you'll get down to a piece so small it's called a single cell. This microscopic unit is the building block of all living things. I'm made of cells, this desert tortoise is made up of cells, and this big tree is made up of cells too. So if a strawberry and a banana are both made up of cells, why do they look so different? Well, it's because they have different DNA. DNA is like the instructions for the cell. They tell it how to live and what to do. The DNA inside the strawberry tells the cells to produce anthocyanin, the pigment that makes them red, and to make a lot of vitamin C. The DNA inside the banana tells it to make a lot of vitamin B6 and starch, and for the outer layer of cells to differentiate and become harder and make the peel. Today, I'm going to show you how to take the DNA out of a strawberry using soap, salt, and rubbing alcohol. The first thing you want to do is really mash up your fruit. One of the most common mistakes people make when they do this is not squishing the strawberry enough. You don't want it to be chunky. You want to mix it until it's completely liquefied and smooth. Next, we're going to make our extraction solution by getting a half cup of warm water and adding in one teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of concentrated dish soap. And then mix that together well. Add two or three teaspoons of this to your strawberry and mix again. The purpose of the soapy salty water is to further break open the cells and to help the DNA come out from the nucleus and the membranes and get into the liquid. You don't want to make it too soapy or frothy, but you do want to mix it well and spend several seconds squishing the bag around. Then put a coffee filter over a jar or a cup so that it's secure and it won't slip in and pour in your strawberry mixture. Wait for about five minutes for the liquid to drip through. And then if you'd like, you can very carefully and gently squeeze the coffee bag to get a little bit more liquid out. Be really careful with this step that you don't push too hard and break your bag because then you'll have to strain the whole thing through a coffee filter all over again. There is tons of DNA from the strawberry inside the liquid here. The only way we'll be able to see it is if we can get it to all clump together. We're going to precipitate our DNA. Precipitate means that all of the DNA is going to come out of solution and clump together. To do this, we need rubbing alcohol. We're going to pour an, about an equal amount on. However much strawberry liquid you have, you want to pour on a layer that's about similar thickness. Just let it sit and you'll start to see the DNA floating up into the rubbing alcohol. It looks like a white, bubbly, cloudy layer. And now that you can see all that white bubbly material collected together, we're ready to just dip a toothpick in and lift out the DNA. Whoa! We got a lot this time. So there's, there's part of our DNA and I'll try and get in and scoop out the rest. There we go. That's strawberry DNA. If you put it in the bag and then press it out, you can see just how long and strand-like the DNA is. DNA is an incredibly long molecule. In fact, if you took one human cell and then stretched the DNA out flat, it would be more than six feet long, which is just incredible, a little mind-boggling to think about. But this long, long strand is so thin and small, and it's coiled around itself so tightly that it fits inside a nucleus, which is just microscopic. When you put the DNA into the bag and then press it out, you can see just how stringy it is because it is such a long polymer. And that's probably one of my favorite parts of this, this experiment is seeing, seeing it in the bag and spreading it out and seeing how thread-like and filamentous the DNA is. Don't forget to check out the coloring pages, worksheets, and the other two videos that go along with the science investigation. The worksheets are free downloads and you can find a link to them in the description.